It was, a, it was an allegation that he repeated sure. 34 times as but well. Um, the, the key you, point about this as well is this wasn't any old story. This was a story that was the most important story in the Guardian's history. It was vital that sure. every single element of it should be right. Let's get things in proportion here. Your newspaper had hacked a murdered girl's telephone. Now look, I'm not here to... I'm not, I don't believe that the news world was exonerated has been exonerated. What we did was indefensible, not just to Millie, but to all the victims of hacking. I'm not here to justify that in any way. What I'm here to do is attack the shoddy journalism of The Guardian and the shoddy journalism of Nick. He says it was accepted by everyone that, 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 that this happened. Read his original copy. There's no acceptance of it. There's a, there's a statement from News International at the end saying we're looking into this. News International at that time was a rabbit caught in headlights. They'd clearly been caught out misleading people with the, with the one rogue reporter theory, and they weren't going to make that mistake again. They weren't confirming anything but, to anyone. Fine. Do you accept the news of the world should have been closed down anyway? I'm not... Uh, there's a perfectly good argument that the news of the world should be closed down. I'm not here to defend the news of the world. I'm here to, to attack Nick's journalism. And it isn't just down okay. to this story. Let's, let's go a week later. Just a week later, after this sensational claim, he, he claims, in a front-page story again, that, Gordon, that the son hacked into Gordon Brown's medical records to reveal his son's cystic fibrosis. Sure. The it Guardian did, did apologise for that story. That right. story could have had yeah. exactly the same well, effect yeah, on the son. This the, 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 this man Millie had on the news world. widespread criminality at your newspaper. Absolutely. And, uh, th and there's he large should elements be of the garden. for that, There's large he? elements of the Guardian's investigation that, that is fantastic, but there's also really shoddy journalism by the Guardian, which is, and an, an, the other media has treated a lot of what, uh, pretty much what the Guardian has said as fact for the last five months. And it's only now that the Guardian's journalism is, is coming under proper scrutiny. Okay. Can I Most come back? It on was this? fact, wasn't it? A lot of it was fact, but there were okay. some, some significant we, smears and su su significant untruths. Okay. We've published more than a hundred stories revealing immoral criminal behaviour by the newspaper where you worked for 15 years. Now just look, for example, at the Gordon Brown story which you've just raised. Gordon Brown's wife, Sarah, gave birth to a child. The doctor said this child appears to have a very serious illness. We need to do more tests. During that period when they were waiting to confirm it, the son discovered this confidential medical information about this sick boy. Any decent newspaper would say, we can't publish this. But that newspaper chose to. And that put enormous stress on those parents. I've interviewed Gordon Brown on the record. He says that when the son decided to publish that information, he and Sarah Brown were in tears. So, subsequently, we published a story about it, and we did not say that the son had obtained that by hacking. You've just made that up. It's not there in the story. What I said was... Read the, the son, apology that the Guardian... The son, ran, listen to... Let, let me finish. The son gained, a, gained access to confidential medical information. At one point in the story, I used a different term of words. I said, gained access to confidential medical records. And I couldn't prove that they got to the file. And this is the difference. The Guardian corrected and apologised that. When did the son apologise for doing that cruel and inhumane thing to those parents whose well, sick well, child now will grow up and discover all these horrible well, stories about I'm his medical condition? Not the ethics of the but son. Look, who's not guilty of shoddy journalism? The ethics of the son or the news of the world. I'm attacking the shoddy journalism of the okay. Guardian. But and there, there are, are lots the example of examples just, of it. No, I there aren't. To... There are two that you're coming up with. You've misrepresented what we said in the Gordon Brown story. It's a matter of wording which we corrected. <laughs> Where's the no? On it's the Gordon Brown word. story, you no, Jeremy, the, for it. But, words, but you've never apologised for doing the terrible thing. Words thing. matter. Yes, indeed. That's so, the so, whole point. Yes. So we said of course he, we've right. the for son... it. I've apologised for it on this show, and every senior executive right. has apologised. Okay. Rupert Murdoch said it was the right. most humble let's day of his bro, life. But why don't you have broadness. some humility then about this? I've got, I've got humility. Instead of humility, to, I'm not no. saying that what we're is happening here in any is way. a classic example of the way that tabloid newspapers work. You're on a heap of trouble because for years you personally have taken Murdoch's money, like these other people, and ruined people's lives and in invaded people's privacy and engaged in criminal activity. You've hired private investigators in the past, haven't you? Private investigators who were breaking the law, haven't you, Jules? I'm not, haven't you, Jules? I'm not here to talk you about... Would you like a list of, of well, people who you... Want you to, let's go through the list of the hundred um, observer journalists that, that made requests okay, to Steve But Woods you personally hired a private investigator who was doing illegal things to get confidential data. I'm Isn't that here true? I'm talk about the... Why, why, why won't you admit the truth? Isn't it time for some humility? No, Didn't no, you hire a private look, investigator let's, let's who was doing... The, let's talk you about the names of all the, the observers. 
shabby journalists to do it, and the current, you're ducking it, aren't you? The, the current guardian. You accuse me of shabby journalism when your name is all over the records of Steve Whittemore, a private investigator who was convicted of using illegal means. Your name's there. Information about Jeremy Theakster, about, about um, uh, Anne Robinson, there's, there's about John Penrose, about Anna Freel. But, but you're let's admitting you hired naming, that Let's start naming some of the Guardian journalists. Oh, who's so shoddy here? here? I, want to, I want to broaden this, move this on a little bit. Now, and um, you've got personal experience of what it is like to be on the receiving mm. end of this sort of attention from the tabloid press. Uh, you had a personal uh, tragedy with your, with your child. Just tell us what happened. Well, um, I, I must say, I just find it unbelievable that anyone from the news of the world can actually sit there and be outraged that Quite. somebody might have got a fact wrong, that somebody might have actually misrepresented them in some way, that somebody might not have apologized tell, fully. Tell us it's your absolutely story. incredible to hear because now you know what it feels like. Um, well, my particular story then was, I mean, according to Rupert, B uh, Rupert Murdoch's butler, I was targeted um, by News International in a very early stage because I actually took Rupert Murdoch to task um, for the behavior of some of his newspapers. It came to a head when in 1991 my little boy died. Um, and we knew, my husband and I at the time knew um, that it, that we knew the level of press interest uh, there would be. And mindful of the fact that um, Eric Clapton's son had died uh, about a year before, and it had become, the funeral had become a press circus. I mean, newspaper photographers and um, reporters were falling over other people's gravestones and trampling other people's flowers to get close-ups of Eric Clapton and his wife, or uh, um, his girlfriend, at the funeral. We, mindful of that, we wrote to every Fleet Street editor and said, please stay away. This is an incredibly private moment. Um, and a photographer did turn up um, and within a couple of hours of the funeral my husband was rung by Kelvin McKenzie who was the editor of the Sun at the time and he said look we've got a photograph uh, and it's incredibly strong and we want to use it and Mike said no we begged you to stay away please do not use it what's your and analysis? they ran it all over the front page what's, the next what's day. What's gone wrong in the culture of the media in this country? Well, it's partly commercialism run riot, that all that matters is finding stories to sell papers, and it's partly this deeply self-deceived culture within the paper that everything we do is right. We're above the law. It doesn't matter, for example, if the high courts say that it's a grotesque invasion of Max Mosley's privacy to get into private life. The news of the world know better. They're going to come They've back and say They've set their own agenda. Know. They've set the yeah. agenda themselves for so many years that we are now, we live in a world, a press world, where the, the climate, the values have been distorted by the worst journalists there. Are. I'm a journalist myself. I'm a print journalist by trading and I'm ashamed of some of the things that have been done but they've been allowed to continue for so long. This has how, now set the climate. How do you live in it? I'm not going to justify what's happened to, ha what happened to Anne. I'm as uh, moved and as upset by what she's saying as anyone else. It happened 20 years ago. No, do no, you no, think th this is one thing that happened, but it happened over a very long period. You spent and 15 not years taking the money to do this stuff. You're the features editor of the News of the World. I mean, how does it feel? Well, it, I, there's lots and lots of fantastic public interest journalism that we did. No, things went no wrong. No one disputes that. Things, things went wrong. I can't, I'm, I'm not here to justify what, this, what happened to, to Anne 20 years ago at the hands of the Sun under a completely previous regime. And the regime. news of the world. Come on, it wasn't just the Sun and it wasn't just the news of the world either. Things went wrong. The it was a culture had, that you guys were allowing to You've had a chance to reflect on it. What was it went wrong? Well, well, look, people made mistakes. There's no doubt about it. And, um, but this was industrial-scale phone hacking. Well, look, I'm not here to justify that. I don't think the news of the world has been exonerated. I think there's every... Um, you, you can justify the closure of the paper, even. I'm not here to do that. I was here to talk about the Guardian getting things wrong and the Guardian misre misrepresenting well, now you know popular how it newspapers. Feels. Just a little tiny glimmer, that's all you're getting, of what you've put other people through for many, many years. Now you know how it feels. It feels a, a sense of moral outrage. That's what I see from you today. And, you're and still that's what so many people have felt for so long. And you're still playing the same tabloid distortion game. So we publish more than 100 stories, which are confirmed in evidence gathered by the police and at parliamentary inquiries and at the Leveson inquiry and in civil actions. And you pick on two errors, one of them very significant in the Millie Dowler story, one of them really minor in the Gordon Brown story. And, and you distort the truth and try to pretend that that well, means we're guilty of shoddy journalism. At least now you're accepting the distortion, errors. Uh, the, the distortion and the hypocrisy is unbelievable. You should just stop. Take a leaf out of Rupert Murdoch's book and get a bit humble or else just go quiet. People don't right. believe you anymore. We're not going to be bullied by people like you no. anymore. We've had enough of you.